Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying his truth and the return of the Heavenly Father to set up his everlasting kingdom, which is prophecy found in the Holy Scriptures. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Racha Kodash, which is the Heavenly Father name and the Son name, who the real ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. And double honor side elders and apostles of great millstone, which the most High set up to push his word down true sincerity and charity. The holy prophets back today, teaching our people the right doctrine, the true knowledge, according to scriptures. Shalom to all you arcing that push his word down true sincerity and charity, wherever you may be that preach the proper doctrine and the Holy Spirit, that Baha reconquered us. The way we able to understand these prophecies, these parables, and these mysteries, and go out and declare in true sincerity and charity in the spirit and in truth. Lord willing, I want to go into this lesson real quick, which was inspired by a brother, you know, our elder, uh, GMS Chicago, Elder Lahab. You know, some statements that he made, which is real spiritual and exhorting, but made me want to jump right on the lesson, man. And also just taking into consideration, you know, everybody wants the kingdom of heaven. You know, everybody want to live comfortably. Everybody want to be successful, stress-free. But here on this side, being in the flesh, man, our people go about it the wrong way. And what do they do? They sell out and they commit wickedness to what? To get that success, that comfort, that comfort, that stress-free lifestyle, that lavish lifestyle, man. When really, scripture say all things, uh, all things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. You know, you know, just it's not going off to have a nice career, nice things. And be successful and be comfortable, man, and rest. You know, there's not going on, but it's not expedient right now. Why? Because Micah 2 and 10 tell you this is not our rest. Rise ye and depart, but it will destroy you with a sword destruction. Because America is going to be dissolved, man. And all the things you put your heart, time, money, and everything into, you know, as well as this flesh, man. Going into this scripture, this 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do corruption inherit incorruption. So ain't no flesh and blood going to be in the kingdom of the Most High. Because for one, I, the law is going to be written in us, man. Okay, and then whoever the elect man, wherever they may be, which we hope and labor to be. Okay, whether it's by death or whether it's by salvation through the chariots. Hey, we got new bodies waiting on us, man. We got a better life lifestyle we got success we got rest you know we got comfort comfort comfortable lifestyle stress free wickedness free disease free pollution free confusion free man this is the kingdom of heaven man and it's at hand okay and that's what we preaching man okay that's why our lord and savior who the word ignorantly called jesus yeshua yahuwah and a bunch of improper translation. That's why he came and died, man. That's what he came to preach, you know. But nevertheless, man, hey, <laughs> these bodies not getting on no chariots, man. And, it's, and it ain't going to be any kingdom of heaven, which is going to come. It's going to be here on earth. So therefore, what should we do? Knowing that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Okay? Because this flesh is corrupted, man. It's prone to corruption. You know, you eat, wash up, take care, do what you got to do, but it's still, uh, it's a, um, it's a vow thing, man. These thoughts are vowed. These bodies are vowed. And we have to be changed, man. We need salvation. You know, that's our hope, man, to be changed, to be delivered from these bodies, man. Because again, it's good to say we present as a hope, man. It's all messed up, man, from the bodies all the way to this present evil world. If you want to be successful, comfort, comfort, comforted, excuse me. No, you want to have a nice lifestyle, man. That's a worry about it. I should tell you that. Uh, this is uh, Galatians 6 and 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So if you put all your time and energy into your flesh, fleshly thoughts, fleshly desires, fleshly pleasures, Hey, you're going to perish right along with that, man. That's what the scriptures say. But he that soared to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And how do you sow to the spirit? The scriptures tell you that, man. Repent, acknowledging the truth, acknowledging your sins, walking accordingly in the light, which is the truth, which is Yahweh Shah. 
and gathering up wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's your treasure. So you can be stable in that day, man. Because it tells you that Isaiah 33 and 6, the destruction is coming. The economy is going to collapse. World War Three will happen, man. But if we do, we got to do right now and stay focused and keep our eyes single and continue to sow to the spirit according to our ability and being built up in the process of being reborn into the true knowledge and show the true name and true doctrine. Okay, we should have life everlasting. Man. That the scripture promised us that our Lord is not a man he should lie. He, he, he put us in slavery for disobeying. That happened. He said his only begotten son, as he said, that happened. What makes you think World War Three and the economy not going to collapse? What makes you think this present evil world is not going to be done away with, man? Righteousness is going to be set up after it. It's John 6 and 63. It is the spirit, it is the spirit that quickened it. So that Baha Rukhakwadash was what quickened you, man. Say so the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And what's these words, man? This holy Bible, man. Romans 15 and 4. Okay, and there's men on earth that have the breakdown, that have the true understanding that's going to teach. Scripture says, your ass shall see your teachers. He revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Amos 3 and 7, Isaiah 30 and 20, man. The two scriptures just quoted. These words, man, that we got, they are spirit in our life. This is our life, man. You know? This is what you uh, build your foundation on. This is what you focus on. And everything else will be added unto you. Because, again... There's nothing wrong with having nice things. There's nothing wrong with, you know, trying to be successful, man. But you got to understand who we dealing with, the times we live in there, and what comes with it, man. And what's really important at the end of the day. Uh, what is the next question? That was it on that. It's Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandment of God and the law that endure forever. So the law is not done away with. And they tell you that in church, but they're lying, man. They're not preaching the proper doctrine in the church. They don't have the breakdown. They don't have the Holy Spirit. Because they sold out for fame, filthy lucre, you know, and whatever else, man. The one deals with the devil. And not just in the church, man. In the Hollywood industry, in the entertainment industry, in the sports industry. Major and minor, man, amongst you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the confusion of faith, wherever they may be. Because we, as the scripture said, we are the salt of the earth, man. We above all people. You know? Speaking their languages, looking like them, man. They Israelites, man. Okay, these heathens get no credit, man. It says, And they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So if you leave these law, statutes, commandments, if you leave these prophet, if you don't take heed to the prophecies, you're gonna get caught up in it, man. You're gonna die, as the scriptures say, as the Lord see fit. Say, turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. So we can know what time we in, man, so we can see clear. Because this truth is the light. You walk in the light, so your deeds can be reproved, man. But there's men out there that hate the light. Okay, they love wickedness. Men and then women. And they call the two thirds. And the elect love the light. So they gonna walk in it so they can be illuminated. So they can repent and get right, man. You know? It says And that's the point, man. Because the Lord ain't dealing with other nations, he deal with your Israelites. Say, so hear this word that Yahweh, Amos three and one, hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniqu for all your iniquities. Here I come. So we're going to get punished, man, for what we did, for our wickedness and disobedience, man. You know? And this is a punishment, man. But you understand the times we're living in and find that balance. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou and the holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we above the so-called white man. We above the Chinese, the Africans. Okay? We are the salt of the earth, man. And our people are scattered amongst them, which makes these nations look as if they're something, but they're nothing, man. And the scripture tell you that. Okay? And we're nothing without Yahweh Hashem shine, his, his mercy. His law out your commandments, which we are held accountable with that. And this is 2 Peter 3 and 11. 
seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved with manner of persons are ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness and we look at the word conversation mean your conduct man you know so all these things are going to be dissolved man so what you going to do you going to fight the flesh and reap to the spirit sow the spirit or you going to lose man you pick and choose well, Lord, we'll hold this last with that. If I want to give all praise and glory, honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashami, Ha'ashah, double honor to our elders and apostles, great millstone, which the Lord. Amen.